first time. Welcome back to the channel, this is The Anomaly. Today we're going to try out an ice plunge. It's my first time doing it, so we're going to see my first reaction. Yeah, so we're ready from the gym. I did 20 minutes of cardio. Now I'm going to take a dip in the pool. I'll do like just a quick dip. We'll go straight into the sauna. I'll do 10 minutes in the sauna and then we'll do the ice plunge. I'm going to see how long I last. My friend, he tried it out. He couldn't last a minute, so, but that's normal for him. <laughs> I'm gonna see how long I last. I'm gonna challenge myself and we're gonna see just how I feel in general, you know, because I'm very, very interested in that endorphin boost. Because right now I am, I almost said, I almost said lactating, but lacking, I am lacking, not lactating. My brain, man, dead, eh? Your brain's finished. I'm gonna take a quick dip in the pool and after the pool goes straight. To the sauna, then we'll go to the ice patch. Look at him go. Life could be a dream if I could take you up in paradise up above. Now we're gonna go into the sauna. Let's do like 10 minutes there. All right, now, so on, it's done, we did 15 minutes, we're gonna go straight to the ice plunge, which is right here. So that's temperature, I was on the sauna for 15 minutes. Uh, first time. Push your mind, okay? Hello. So we did cardio, and then the ice plunge. Now, after I warmed up a bit, because I was shaking a lot, I've been yawning like every few minutes, made me tired. Yeah, now now we're getting something to eat. There's a bunch of rain outside, so we can't even leave the building. Like we can't leave the building, so we're just getting something to eat here very quickly. So this is for Chad. This is for me, the beef, and I have fries as well. Yeah, so this was gonna be my meal at home, but since I can't go home yet because of natural disasters, I'm gonna have the sweet potato here. It's fried, I think, but it doesn't matter, I don't really care much. And I'm gonna have the beef. So this is approximately 250 to 300 grams. And this is kind of the same, a bit more. Cold plunge, I genuinely thought it was gonna be a lot worse because people like to exaggerate it, but like the first minute, because what, like what we did to make it a bit worse or harder for us is we take a dip in the pool and then once we take, like after we take the dip in the pool, we did 15 minutes sauna, just so like we get hot as fuck get a bit spicy for the the ice plunge and yeah the sauna like doing 15 minutes alone it made me extremely extremely warm because it's very hot the sauna that we used and then 
we went straight, like it's, uh, it's another room next to it, we went straight into the ice plunge. The shock you feel from just that temperature switch, or yeah, that, that temperature switch, like from hot to cold, like that's the first step. But what really kind of bothered me or just pissed me off, like I wasn't really phased. It was more the, the pain in my feet. Like it was annoying. The pain in my feet, the numbness in my feet, and then it went to my hands. But my, like my toes specifically, they were in so much pain, like in the first minute, and it kept getting worse from the first minute to the second minute, that it was kind of annoying, you know, like I, I didn't, I wasn't gonna stop because of it, but it's just, I'm, t I'm letting you guys know if you guys are gonna do this. Just be aware, you're gonna feel, uh, feel a little bit of pain, because I know some people, some people can't really handle pain. <laughs> Maybe that's why Chad couldn't, ha like, couldn't do more than a minute, I'm not sure. I just decided to do 25 minutes. Like I, at one point it gets so easy, like your body adjusts to it and the temperature, it was eight, it was eight at first and, and then it went up to 10 because of my body. So I kind of made it, made it warmer because of my body temperature. So it got easier and easier in a way and I could just sit there for like as long as I want. Once I got out, I could not stop shaking. <laughs> I was shaking a bit inside the, the tub, but but when I actually went out, that's when I couldn't stop shaking at all, and that was uncomfortable. I think I stayed a bit too much. I didn't know how long you should, you should actually stay. I just did 25 minutes because what happened was we were aiming for like six minutes, seven minutes, and then we were like, okay, so we googled, and 10 to 15 is the norm or the the ideal wait time. So we just did like 10 to 15 minutes and then I was like, okay, okay, I'm gonna do two more minutes. I'm gonna do two more minutes. I kept on going, going like that. I did like 25, 26, 27 minutes. We're gonna say 25 just to round it up. But uh, yeah, I'm a bit crazy like that. I like to do that a lot, especially with like, let's say I'm doing cardio. I like doing the same thing. If I have 30 minutes of cardio, I'll be like, I can't do two more minutes. Like, wh why not? Like, that's just my mindset. But I always do it for the dumbest shit. My opinion on it, uh, don't do 20 minutes uh, before a workout. I'm not sure, maybe if you do less, from what I know, you shouldn't do it before a workout. You should only do it after a workout and not too close to your workout because warmth is very good for gains. You need to stay warm, you need to stay boiling hot. And if you go to the gym, like after an ice bath, it's gonna affect your workout heavily, I believe. After experiencing that, I do believe I wouldn't have a good pump or just a good workout in general. But maybe if I did less, it would have been a different story. So I don't know if you guys actually do ice baths before your workouts, let me know. I'd love to know your experiences with it. So just let me know down in the comments, like what you've done, how you're doing it, or just how you do it. I'm, I'm actually interested, like I wanna know, cause I wanna implement this in my life. Cause right now I feel good. I got a slight headache for staying too long, I think, for the first time after. Then it kind of went away. Then we got some food, as you guys saw, I got a, a ribeye with some sweet potatoes and Chad, we had some chicken breast or chicken thigh, whatever that was. It looked juicy, so I don't think it was breast. Breast is, breast is usually very dry. Good uh, rest day today. Uh, I'm very, very tired. I've been yawning every two minutes almost. Now I'm planning on getting home. I have one more meal left since we ordered at the restaurant, Manta. It's called Manta, it's next to the gym. Benefits, I can confirm that you do get, like, uh, you, you do get the endorphin boost. Feel, like I feel very good right now. I'm very tired, but I feel good. So I'm gonna sleep very well tonight. I'm, I'm like I'm excited to actually go to bed because usually I'm not excited to go to bed. I don't like sleeping. I don't like getting up. So this is the the conundrum that I have, if that's even a word. I don't like going to bed. 
I like staying up. Like I stay, I like staying awake. But then once I actually fall asleep, after after sleeping late, I don't like waking up in the morning. So it's always like the morning for me. It's the most difficult part of the day. I never wake up ready for the day. It's like my body. It's just even if I have good sleep, it's like. A, it's weird, it's like I get stuck in bed. I'm learning a lot for my next bulk, we're already preparing, so be ready for that. I'm gonna start doing it every, uh, uh, not every day, I can do it every day because I, I asked my coach, but we're not gonna do it every day, I'm gonna do it only on rest days. It feels good and I, I feel more, like I feel good, you know, and if I feel good, then we're gonna do it again. I'm very negative sometimes and it's with my performance in the gym and outside the gym you know like uh, I don't really I get a bit lazy because I get so depressed almost but uh, that's why I need to focus on keeping my mood up that's why I'm doing these ice plunges because I heard I think it was like a, a treatment for depression back in the 1850s or something my friend told me this I'm not sure if someone can fact check this maybe the, the editor can do a quick Google search but it was actually like it's so good for your mental like it gives you such a good mental boost that people were actually kind of prescribed back back in the day like back in the 1850s 18 something to treat depression so that's how good ice baths are like I see the same people every day I see the same roads the same because Malta is small so uh, like you see the same shit almost every single day so it gets even more repetitive. Like, you know how life is already repetitive. In Malta, that feels more rep repetitive for me. Because some people, they enjoy this cycle. But I want something different. That's why I'm, I'm constantly aiming and, like, I'm constantly aiming and dream of going to America. When I went there last time, last time I went, it opened my eyes. Like, I really, really want to go there. I cannot wait. You're all witnessing it. Because in a few years I'm gonna be there and you're gonna be like F I used to watch him when he used to live in Malta If you still watch me or if I'm still alive because Greg thinks I'm gonna die very soon At only 21 years of age this guy is going to live shorter than last time I'll see you guys in the next one If you guys want to see anything else like you want me to try something that maybe helped you out Like maybe getting a better mood, feeling better or just any any activity outside the gym let me know leave a comment down below i'll see you in the next one though don't forget to comment like and subscribe bye bye